Hey guys, 3DP here and welcome to Resident Evil 8 Demo aka Maiden It's finally here, it seems like Resident Evil nowadays they always drop this massive demo out of the blue and say here you go, here's the game it's coming out in a few months time so I'm eager and very excited to play this but before I do I'd like to show off some fan art these pictures are from Miss Alice AD and they're beautiful and if you want to send in your own fan art then the link will be down below in the description. It's kind of weird having fan art sent to me. I don't think that would ever happen. It's like a weird feeling. <laughs> it's a nice feeling, but also like surreal. Like, whoa, whoa, people took time out to make art of me. It's crazy. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. I love you guys. But without further ado, we're going to jump in. I don't know what the hell to expect, so I've stayed away from anything to do with this game. Maiden. Escape the dungeon. My god, the graphics looks nice. As you guys could um, possibly imagine I'm playing on a PS5. Oh. Examine. Scrap of paper. Examine items. Okay. Scrap of old paper buried in the wall. I think someone left a message. Let's examine it then, shall we? I need subtitles for that. <laughs> to whom is trying to escape this place? I hope this note will be of some assistance. You don't know me, but you'll have to trust me if you want to survive. First, you need to get out of this cell. Look around for the way. Get on your hands and knees if you must. Then search for the thing you need to escape. It'll be hidden where they least suspect. Soaked in blood. Once you get out of the dungeon, you shall find yourself in a room. The door there won't lead to salvation. The light will lead you down the right path. You might hit a dead end, but do not give up. There should be a way to proceed hidden somewhere. Once you find a ladder, the only way is up. But watch out. Don't let them see you. I plan to make my escape tonight. And pray that you two make it out alive. Okay. Someone's left us a bloody note. Oh, look. It's a toilet. That's where I normally have my shits. And here is the cage. Cell doors, as I Soaked in blood, they said. There's more rotten bread. Hands and knees. Hands and knees. I am not looking down that, am I? I'm confused. Oh. Okay, we've got some chains up here. Crouch, okay. So now my hands and knees. Oh my god. He was right. There's the way out. Okay, I'm going into the next door cell. Oh my god, the door, like, the door actually opened. The door opened. I'm going to look back there. I want to see if there's anything left behind. Ugh! Okay, so I need a door. <laughs> right. What do we have around here? It's pills and needles. The usual stuff. What's a photo down there? Looks like it's religious of some sort. Examine. Medicines for keeping livestock alive. Oh, God. This has got like a weird, eerie Silent Hill feel to it. This does not feel like Resident Bloody Evil. I uh, what? I need some kind of other item. Hmm. I need like a crowbar then, basically. Oh, hello. Uh, is that a dead body wrapped up? I bloody hope not. Oh my god, there's skeletons everywhere. And a rat. Oh my god, we're bloody rats. I hope there's nothing here. I'm cool. This game is so bloody dark. It's not dark. It's not just dark for you guys, don't worry, it's flipping horribly dark for me. Oh my god, there's a woman down here. She looks like she's bled to death. Help me, brother. Oh my god, she was put on a torture rack. Oh, can one of these things open a door? Apparently not. Oh god, there's someone hanging here. Some kind of other item. Bloody hell. 
Oh, look at that. That looks horrible. I would hate to be tied up to that. Oh, God. Look at this one. Oh, talk about pins and needles. Ugh. Examine. It's locked. So I need a key. Escape the dungeon. I need a key. So I might have to find a key of one of these bodies. I need to get rid of the chains. So I need an item for it. Where can I find one? Where can I find like a crowbar thing? An item I could pry open stuff with. Anything around here? I'm confused. So I can't go there as a dead hen. Here is my old cell that I can now... That's not my cell. That's <laughs> next door cell. Hmm. There's nothing there. That one's locked. This one's open but I couldn't find bug when I was here. Just rats and skeletons. Rats and bloody skeletons. Then we go over here, and we find... Oh, oh my god, what happened to you? I'll take it. Ew. Bloody bolt cutters. That's, they might do. They might... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> okay. Okay, that got me. You guys scared me, okay? Don't take much to scare me. <laughs> oh my god, blood. Examine it. Let's put our hand in it, shall we? We've got like a lockpick. Yeah, lockpick. Okay. Get going. What the fuck was that? Hello? Oh god. I'm getting out of here. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Where's all this noise coming from? Jesus! Chill out, people. Chill out, you weird zombies. Just chill out. Just let me escape this dungeon. Oh my god. What happened to you? You got no legs. Well, that's fucked up, bro. Oh! Okay, someone's definitely beyond that. I think I'll use a lockpick. Come on, fiddle it. Fiddle it, fiddle it, fiddle it. There we go. Pull that down. Whoa, hey! We got some light. Oh my god. Look at this more, more of your thing. <clears throat> it's like two sets of armies fighting each other. Oh god, this dungeon's so dark. I would hate to be a prisoner in the old days. I'd deal with skeletons, piss and shit on the stairs, and dimly lit damp dungeons and zombies. Hello? Hello? Someone's here? Examine. This stinks so bad. Oh yeah, it looks fucking awful as well, to be honest. Oh. What do we have here? Way out. Does that mean we can't open the door? What's this? Dancy Macabre. What? I don't understand. Oh god, music, music. When music happens, that's a bad sound. That's a bad, that's a bad omen, I mean. I don't get my words mixed up because I'm scared. It's cool for this hole. Oh. Worst thing is, I'm actually really terrified of small spaces. Like, being trapped, like, claustrophobic kind of thing. So that was... What the... F okay. <laughs> Crawling through something like that would... 
never happen. I, I wouldn't do it. I think I'll just get eaten alive by a zombie rather than do that. Okay, we'll never know. June 9th, 1958. Bloody hell, this is old. <laughs> it was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't buy. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and that night I can hear wailing as if ghosts roamed the halls. I want to go home. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened a window just to crack. Shut it! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I feel me. I may be taken down into a cellar, never to be seen off again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. They don't look sunlight, and they said no, we're not going to bite you, don't worry. They're fucking vampires. Great. Oh god, it's a ladder. But how did I end up here? And who am I? Bloody hell, this is a long ladder. They really took me deep in the trenches down there, didn't they? Wow. What's around here, then? Oh. Now I'm in the mansion. I made out the bloody duns into a beautiful, lovely mansion. Oh, I have no reflection. Vampire confirmed. Nice flowers. <sighs> they smell like shit, though. Oh, wedding tresses. Oh god, people go through doors. Necklace? That's not a very nice necklace, is it? Not some old wear. Oh wow, I love the look of that. That looks really pretty. I like what they've done with this place. I could picture myself living here. What's this one look weirdly... Eerie, look, the door does not match the artwork. And nor does these pillars. It's like, it's very odd. <laughs> it don't belong here. Uh, hello? Someone just walked past that door. Hello? Hello? I guess not. I'm seeing things open. Nothing here. Let's close it then, I guess. What do we have down here? Oh my god! It's beautiful! Why does it remind me of the Raccoon City Police Station? No, the mansion. Yeah, the mansion. Oh my god. Is this. Is this Resident Evil 1 mansion all over again? No. They... No, they wouldn't, would they? Oh, wow. That looks... Scary as fuck. You want a necklace? One eye says empty socket. Okay, it needs an eye, not a necklace. Let's run along here. Run along, dear Godfrey! Oops. That's locked. We got another balcony thing. Why have we got so many balcony things? I would understand if it's a big hall and like, you know, opera and all that kind of thing. But just for the hallway? Or when, what is it? When someone comes through the front door, you have like 10 people to stand at the balconies clapping you every time you walk by. And then you have someone here with a trumpet going, doo -doo 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 -doo. Who's laughing? They'll say something funny? Did I accidentally fart? What do I do? I do like these teapots. Oh god, is that blood or lipstick? Oh gosh. Definitely blood, isn't it? Yeah, I'll put that back. Then I want my cat. Oh, we've got another note. 
candidates. Oiwana Mahelia Lois rejects Dandora Greta Nadine Camilla Bianca Melina Astrid Ludmila Rosia uh, Rosalinda L- Lena Stefana and Gabriella. Okay, look, I'll probably butcher every fucking name there. <laughs> oh god, what's this? Examine. It looks like the clothes I'm wearing. Fuck. Someone's prisoner clothes are being burnt. I'm a prisoner. Oh, another drawer. Nothing there. Do I leave out the front door? I very highly doubt it. Yep. Oh. I can't leave for the front door. They're not going to let me. Right, so. It looks like I can... No, I can't go through there. Oh, I could run! Freaking heck! What did the game? What didn't the game tell me that? Oh, what's what's down here? It's so dark, I can't see anything. Can I go through here? Open? Nope. Oh God! Oof! A bit windy here, isn't it? Bloody hell! Look at that lovely outside. Even it's got snow. Can I open? Oh no. It needs a key. I need a key. I like how there's so many drawers but only one opens on every single one. I can't go that way. Oh. What's this? Now that is what I call a beautiful wine glass. Look at that. I would love that. Would you call that a goblet even? Maroon eye ring. I think we found the eye. We found the eye for the statue. Oh, the eye capped it. Oh my god, there's blood everywhere. I didn't notice that before. There's drops of blood going in there. Oh god, what the heck? Hello? Uh. Why? Okay, whatever. You do your thing. You do your thing, love. Oh, I need to examine it, don't I? Where did she run this to? Examine, examine. Take that out. There we go, now we got Marine Eye. Where did she go? Lady? What the fuck? She just ran this on us. Mysterious woman with a black robe. Flickering in the wind up there was not even any wind. This moving that makes it even more scarier. We got here. We open this? No. We can read this. The wine making techniques of Castle Dimi res res Rescue can be traced as far back as the fifteenth century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Lacina Dimi Rescue used a legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine flavour int- uh, intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her uh, best vintage is Sanguis Rutinis, meaning maiden's blood. It's kept in a special ornament bo- bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. The naming makes me think of Romania or something. <laughs> Are we in Romania? Courtyard key. <clears throat> Got a key to fuck off out of here. Okay. We can leave. Well, go to the courtyard at the very least. What was that woman though? Woman, she's here. Next. You. What the fuck? You're watching me. Where are you watching me from? I'm leaving. You understand that? I'm leaving. Okay, I'm not leaving. I'm going this way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Fuck. What are you biting me for? You crazy thing. You crazy woman. 
Oh my god! She bit me! She's a fucking witch! Oh my god! So we finally meet. You're like seven foot fucking tall! <laughs> oh my god, it's war, will we? Well, what? Thanks for playing through our visual showcase. Pre-order Resident Evil Village. Wow! That was really beautiful. That was just showing off, obviously, the graphics and the upgrades they've done since Resident Evil 7 and, well, Resident Evil Remake 3. Uh, that was visually very beautiful and it was quite fun, actually. Surprisingly fun. It didn't feel Resident Evil-y. It felt somewhat entirely different. I very enjoyed that so bloody much, but... I can't understand. Why is there a woman sucking my blood and why is this seven foot woman with Wolverine fangs trying to kill me? Wow. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo and you join me in whatever game I'll be playing next on my channel. Until then, bye bye!